Hello students, in this lecture we will study first order hold sampling technique. In the previous lecture we have studied zero order hold sampling technique in which there was some distortion. Got it? So after uh, removing that distortion we will use a first order hold sampling technique. So what we will do in it, this block diagram is before you and uh, it is just similar to the zero order hold sampling technique. The only change is HT. That impulse response we have used rectangular pulse but now what we will use, we will use a triangular pulse whose function is uh, defined here mathematically and represented uh, in, in the time domain. Got it? Now let's see what will happen with this continuous time signal xt. I have taken this continuous time signal xt and mixed it with ct impulse strain. So it, it will give a function like this you are watching here okay it will give the samples of this function continuous function now what will happen when we will convolve this function to ht means this triangular pulse when we will convolve this function to the ht then what it will give it will not give a constant value from one one sampling uh, time period to another sampling time period it will give it will not give uh, constant value but it will give a linear value a line okay like I'm uh, explaining you here from here to here in the uh, zero order hold what was happened it was like this constant value but here it will give a line a straight line okay got it? got it now next temple you can see here it will give this line okay for the next sample it will give this line got it here it will give this value now you can see here it will represent it like this so you can see by comparing this signal means sample signal comparing with the sample signal of zero order hold the value the samples were uh, were very much distorted okay very much distorted in comparison to this one distortion is there but in this signal the distortion is very small you can observe it okay so here in this way in first order hold we have reduced the distortion and we can see that the function of ht is what a triangular function and we can also represent it with h of j omega h means in frequency domain h of j omega will be equal to 1 by ts and sine omega ts by 2 and omega by 2 whole square omega s by 2 whole square that that uh, omega will be the frequency of the signal got it now we want to smooth it further got it so here we have used a triangular function we can use higher order also now look at this like uh, h of omega of the first order hold i will draw here it will be like this that function will represent like this uh, it will be amplitude will be 1 highest amplitude this is omega s this is minus omega s and the ideal function if I will draw that will give the ideal result that will be minus omega s by 2 plus omega s by 2 you can see by sampling theorem Nyquist criteria omega s will be 2 omega m means it will be minus omega m to plus omega m and in place of omega s if you will put 2 omega m then it will give minus omega m to plus omega m got it so this is the ideal one this is ideal one and this is what this is practical one means first order hold first order hold if we will use higher order function second order third order this curve will be more smooth like this now here only i will compare it okay so it will become like this and as much order we will increase it will become more and more smooth more and more smooth 
and you can see here as it is becoming smooth it is tending to the ideal transfer function got it or not so the best technique that can be utilized uh, for sampling is zero order hold technique due to its simplicity and very small time delay so i hope you have understood the concept of first order hold sampling technique and what will happen when we will use higher order sampling techniques the complexity and the advantages and all the things but even if you have not understand anything or having any doubt you can put that doubt in comment section i will try to resolve it so thank you very much